So when we start working with the new school, what I really like to find out is kind of what their history is, where, what their aspirations are, where they've been on their journey so far, kind of what technologies they're using, and just really want to get to know everyone in the school, really kind of draw out those key points of where they want to be in you know, a year, two years time, so that we can actually create a full plan for them. Initially, the support that GBM provided us with was setting up the network and installing the iPads and getting everything up and running. So originally, we looked at various different suppliers. The key thing for us was the aftercare support. We were really reassured with the speed and the commitment of response. They are our go-to people if we have an issue. They are also providing us with new opportunities and new apps that we could go down the route of to extend ourselves so we don't become stale in what we do. So it's really about that relationship with, with the schools to make sure that they're getting the best out of the technology. When we say kind of partners, what that means is we're there not only to say, OK, this is the technology you should use, that kind of stuff. It really goes beyond that to actually doing some more of the day-to-day, -day, even just hand-holding sometimes to get staff through a certain point. And sometimes it's not even about just the technology piece. There's a really good, strong working relationship. Now they're suggesting next steps for us and coming in and experimenting. And that's working very positively for us all. We've been working with schools like Sandy Croft from the start to make sure that we've got a, an environment that works. Children come to school to, to be taught and to learn. And so the iPad should be about transforming teaching and learning. Here at Sandy Croft, they do a really good job of that. And like I say, it's always because they come back to what their goals are. The primary driver will always be Numeracy and literacy, as it has been for the last hundred years, it's about transitioning a prospect of a school that maybe is so unsure about stuff that they've got technology that they're really scared of, and then actually just transforming what they're doing in the school, changing that so that actually they're confident. And that's what we're doing with a lot of schools now, is taking them on board and transforming what they're doing. And that feels like success to me.